guys, how are you? Jen Marie, how are you doing today? I am gonna go live today just to show you how I'm gonna make some really easy um, apple spice beer bread. And I'm gonna do it a couple variations to it. Um, now of note, starting October 1st, which is still this party, there's going to be holiday edition, um, additions to the catalog. And one of them is gonna be this one. And to be honest with you, I've had this since last year and I have not made it. So I'm gonna be making it for the first time. So my variation that I'm gonna make is gonna include some diced apples. And instead of using beer, I'm gonna use sparkling cider. So we're gonna have a really nice apple flavor and no alcohol in it. All you need to do with this, with this mix actually is use 12 ounces of non-alcoholic beer, carbonated drink, and you can add diced apples. That's all there is to it. So it's gonna be really easy. We're gonna make, um, I'm, I'm doing a party, so we're gonna, um, it's an event that I'm going to, so I'm just, I just put um, cupcake um, paper wrappers into my brownie pan. I'm gonna use that, because it's gonna be really easy just to pop out and serve really easily. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my apple and I'm gonna core it. This is our apple corer. Now there would be an easier way to do this. We do have a apple, um, Corer um, slicer, um, or apple slicer rather, but I don't have that, so I'm just gonna core it, and then I'm gonna take it into our new veggie wedger tool and just cut it into sections really easily. Um, that was the core, see how the core got all out of there? Um, the new veggie uh, tool, I'm just gonna turn it around so you can see, has little, um, uh, little uh, notches here that go right in the middle and you just simply put the apple in the middle and it has to be kind of the right size. You can't use really big produce, it has to be smaller size produce. And it's just gonna chunk it into wedges. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my apple and I'm gonna put it into my manual food processor. And I'm just gonna process a couple of these sections so I get some really nice um, really nice uh, pieces. So that's the manual food, food processor. I wanted to show you a couple tools for this demo. There's many ways I could do this. I could also use my Flex Plus and process it, but I'm gonna do it this way and see how it goes. Notice I didn't peel the apples or anything. And that's okay. It's gonna give it more of that rustic flavor. So there's my diced apples. Maybe I'll do a few more places. Do it. If you didn't see my demo on this earlier, and this is how I make guacamole sometimes in it. Sometimes in a food processor, you can take it on a boat, you can take it anywhere with you because it requires no power. Okay, so here's my apples. So we can see that. They're all nice and diced in there. And then we're just, <laughs> it's gonna be the simplest thing ever. We're just gonna go ahead and um, take those apples, put those aside for a minute, and go ahead and make our mix. And our mix is really simply gonna be, by the way, this is our nice plastic bowl. I think I showed you a smaller one last time. This is the bigger size. Gonna take my mix here and pour it in. Ooh, that smells good. This is gonna be so appetizing. It's just like a perfect thing for the fall. I have another um, business that's a hair business and we're having, at, um, having a women's event tonight. So I thought this would be a really nice thing to bring to it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take 12 ounces of my sparkling cider using my Easy Read cup so I actually can see what's happening in here. I'm gonna pour it slowly off the side. Handy trick. I was a beer fairy in a former life. <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> Hi, Christine. Christine's on my team, actually. Actually, I'm on Christine's team. And she's popping in to check out and see what we're making in the kitchen. Okay, so here we go. So we got our 12 ounces of our sparkling cider. So we're gonna pour that in. Let that settle down for a second. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my Flex Plus. This is an immersion blender, a food processor, and a hand mixer all in one. I'm gonna attach my power base to it, pop in my uh, hand mixer tools, and pop in my power, and I'm just gonna easily mix it up. Now we have different size of these bowls. I went with the bigger bowl because I do have 
Um, in here, obviously carbonation. So I wanna keep it in the bowl if I can. So all I do is hit the safety lock here and safety lock here, great features when we have kids around. And we're just gonna mix it up real quick. You don't have to do this with a mixer. You could do it by hand if you wanted. I just wanted to show you how the mixer works. I'm trying to show you as many tools as I can and how quickly you can get the things done in your kitchen. Aw. Thank you, Christine. I have a hair event tonight. This is day three hair, by the way. Okay, I think we're all mixed here. Just get a quick whirl. You do not want to overmix ever. I've had that problem before. Have any of you ever overmixed anything? You're like, what happened? Why is everything not sticking together? So this is what you're going to get here, okay? And then I'm just going to fold my apples in. Probably a lot of apples here. I don't know. I'm just going with it. Like I said, this is my first time making it. I'm in a super hurry today. I have like three deadlines besides this event tonight. And I just need to get things done. So that is typically how my life is. I'm always kind of in a hurry. I'm always trying to squeeze things in. Um, I have a networking event at 11.30 and an event tonight. And so this is how I'm able to get things done. Just super efficiency and great efficiency in the kitchen. This is our scraper I kept telling you about yesterday when I was going over the utensils and the tools for the kitchen. So I'm just gonna fold it in with the apples. And the one thing I forgot to do is preheat my oven. So the oven is at 350. And I've got all my apples folded in. And then all I'm gonna do, I don't wanna stir it too much, I just wanna fold the apples in, okay? Then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my stainless steel scoop here, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop my goo into my muffin tins just like that. See how easy this is? I feel like I'm gonna have more than 12. Make them a little tall. The only thing I'm not sure of is the temperature of the oven. Um, but I found that Pampered Chef recipes don't seem to need to make an adjustment for high altitude. So I'm hoping that's the case here. So we will see and I will let you know. All Pampered Chef recipes have been tested in a test kitchen. So they are super reliable. Oh, that flavor is really good. Just got my finger in some of it. Now, if I wanted to, I could add more flavor, but honestly, after just tasting it, I don't think it needs any more flavor. So this is typically a bread, but we're making it into muffins. So it looks like I'm gonna have a lot more than I planned. Um, so I'm probably gonna make 20, I guess I could get 24 of these. Seems like, I have a lot of, a lot of uh, dough left here. And then the final touch is we're just gonna brush some butter on the top, which is gonna give it, I guess, a nice glaze. That's what the recipe recommends. So I'm gonna do everything the recipe recommends. Follow and be a good, good follower here. And hope that these come out because I am in high altitude. So that's always a little bit of a challenge for me when it comes to baking. Okay. And we're just gonna put some a little bit of butter on top. Looks like I do have enough for um, more muffins. Okay. So we just changed the recipe, not that much, but to change it from a bread to a muffin. And it says that you should put um, melted butter. So I melted some butter in a prep cup and I have a basting brush here. And so I'm just gonna pop some butter on the top with my basting brush. and pop these into the oven and we'll let you know how they come out. I'm really curious how they're gonna come out. I really don't know. And if I had a hashtag for cooking, it would be like, hope it turns out or um, we'll see what happens. This is a, we'll see what happens. I just like this idea though of doing more apple cider instead of beer. And we're gonna check, we're gonna pop these into the oven and that's it guys and that's how fast and they're gonna cook in the oven I'm gonna try this again mmm it is so good oh my gosh yum um bake until a toothbrush inserted the oven comes out clean 45 to 50 minutes I'm gonna be keeping my eye on these because I don't know what's gonna happen with the high altitude I'm gonna start at 30 minutes and keep looking at it 
So that's my plan. Okay, guys, hope I showed you a lot of tools today. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and have a great day. Baking can be really easy when we have tools like this to make things quick. Again, this will be available October the 1st. Bye, guys.